The Empire of Light is the title of a succession of paintings by René Magritte. They depict the paradoxical image of a nocturnal landscape beneath a sunlit sky. With no fantastic element other than the single paradoxical combination of day and night, René Magritte upsets a fundamental organizing premise of life. Sunlight, ordinarily the source of clarity, here causes the confusion and unease traditionally associated with darkness. The luminosity of the sky becomes unsettling, making the empty darkness below even more impenetrable than it would seem in a normal context. The bizarre subject is treated in an impersonal, precise style, typical of veristic surrealist painting and preferred by Magritte since the mid-1920s. This is the Imolent MS-18, the world's brightest flashlight that you can buy. And this is our flashlight. Got your standard rinky-dink over-the-counter flashlight. We'll see how it does. Eh, not, not great. All right, let's try the Imolent MS-18. This is the world's brightest production flashlight available. Woo! Pretty bright. This is pretty bright. Well, there goes a fan. <laughs> I think we can do better, though. Three, two, one. Ah! You can't see the sign LEDs anymore. Oh God. Lights! Alright, so that certainly looks impressive, but maybe we could measure the light output in a more scientific way. This is called a Crookes radiometer, and it actually measures light radiation. Let's see what happens when we put this in front of each flashlight. Alright, starting with the rinky-dink flashlight, let's see what happens. No, it's, it's moving. Oh yeah, it's one rotation every hour. Well, not that slow. Let's try bringing it a little bit closer. There we go. Solar powered right there. Slowly spinning. Alright, let's, let's see what the Imolent 18 can do. All right, world's price flashlight. Let's see what happens. Woo! Oh. Oh! Spinning. Oh, man. It's been real fast. <laughs> Let's try our flashlight. Oh, yeah, you can't, you can't <laughs> see anything. All right, we've only got seven seconds before this baby overheats. Let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Woo! Look how fast Magritte began his career as a graphic artist and quasi-abstract painter but his work underwent a transformation in 1926, when he began to reinvent himself as a figurative artist. A key canvas in this project was The Menaced Assassin, his largest and most densely populated painting to date. Completed in 1927 and included in the artist's first solo exhibition, at the Galerie Le Centaur in Brussels, it helped launch his career as a surrealist painter whose interest in severing the links between surface and essence would remain a constant.